We're here. Wakey, wakey. Uh. Whoa. That's enough honking, dear. It's early. The neighbors are going to think we're lunatics. <sighs> yeah, Dad, stop. You're wakey, waking the only cool person in Salem. And who might that be? Me. Get a whiff of that air, Melly. I know. I can breathe better already. You gotta get out and smell this. This is all Melody's fault. Now I can't ever see my best friends and be popular. My reputation is ruined. Calm down, Candace, and respect your sister. You will make friends here, too. This is so unfair. Sorry. Oh, for what? This is great! The Carvers needed a change. We had L.A. dialed. It's time for a new challenge. Living is all about... I wish I was dead. There goes the only cool person in Salem. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Who's ready for a tour? First one upstairs gets the big room. W Mom, how did you do that? I told her she could have my vintage Missoni jumpsuit if she stopped complaining for the rest of the day. Huh. With promises like that, you'll be down to one sock by the end of the week. It'll be worth it. <laughs> no way. Behind you. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Whoa, this place is huge. Help! Huh? I'm dying. Really? I'm dying! It's so seriously fuego. Is it 200 degrees in here, or am I going through the change? Wait, Candy, put this on. Why? Our windows are limo tinted. It's not like anyone can see inside. Um, how about the movers? This place is kind of weird, don't you think? This whole house is weird. I kind of love it. That's because you're weird. Yo, did someone lose a top? Um, yeah, sorry, you can just throw it on the steps. I should probably go into a room or else they think I'm hitting on them. Is it 500 degrees in here? It's so hot. Nice coffin. Nice try. I still don't want to move back. Fine! Then at least let me make you jealous. Check out my boudoir. Cute. Hey, wanna walk into town and get some bagels or something? I'm starving. Not until you admit that my room rocks and you're jealous. No way. Um, how about now? Is this some kind of setup? You wish. Is that the gardener, or do you think he lives there? Lives there. If he was a gardener, he'd be tanned. Tie me. Huh? How did you find that? The wardrobe boxes are still in the truck. I knew Mom would give it to me if I kept complaining, so I snuck it in my bag before we left. So all of that stuff in the car was an act? Pretty much. I'll make friends and meet guys wherever. Besides, I need to keep my grades up this year if I want to get into a good college. And we all know that wasn't going to happen senior year in Cali. <laughs> this girl. Now, who's ready to meet the neighbors? Candace, don't! Hey, hot stuff! Nope. Not interested. Too young. Four eyes, no tan. You can have him. Ugh, Candace! I don't need you to tell me who I can and can't have. But he does look cute. Black frame glasses and a mop of brown hair. Is, is he staring at me? Man, I can't turn away. I wonder what color his eyes are. 
You may think I'm one of those life-size cardboard cutouts in the lobby of a movie theater and not a really socially awkward girl. <laughs> Ouch! I can't believe you did that to me! Well, it's not like you were going to do anything. Why would I? I don't even know him! So? So? I'm tired of people thinking I'm a freak. I know you can't relate to that, but... Get over it already, will ya? You're not smelling anymore! You're pretty! You can get hot guys now! Tanned ones with good vision, not geeky hose jousters. Don't you ever want to use your lips as something other than veneer protectors? Ugh, why does Candace think that I have never made out with a boy? How can I convince someone who has had more dates than a fruitcake that one guy, Randy the Starbucks cashier, was a great kisser? It's not that simple, okay? Being pretty is your dream. Singing was mine. And it's over. So live my dream for a while. It's more fun than feeling sorry for yourself, that's for sure. My pretty is fake, Candace. It was engineered. It's not even me. Ugh. How would you feel if you got an A on a test that you copied off of someone? Depends. Did I get caught? <sighs> you think about this stuff too much. I've never looked better. It's time to teach the good people of Salem the difference between Carhartt and Couture. Just let me do all the talking. I always do. So, you're okay with going to school? Completely. I get to make friends, I get to meet boys, I get to sit in a cafeteria, I get to go outside and- Hold on a minute, it's not that simple. Ah, oh, you're right! What am I gonna wear? This. Is this the pleated Bebe Mini with a black cashmere tank? Oh, please make it the pleated Bebe Mini with a black cashmere tank. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please! Ouch! What was that? It's a sharp wool pantsuit. Sharp is right! It feels like a cheese grater. It's darling. Try it on. What's that? Makeup. From Sephora? No, from New York City. It's a wonderful line of stage makeup called Fierce and Flawless. Meant to hold up under the brightest theater lights on Broadway. Yet, it's not too heavy. <gasps> you have mint green skin too? So do I. What? Have you always been mint? Mm-hmm. Then why do you cover it up? Uh, because... We live in a world of normies, and many of them are afraid of people who look different. Different from what? Different from them. We're part of a very special group, descended from what normies call monsters. But we like to refer to ourselves as rads. Regular attribute dodgers. Oh. Don't pull! <sighs> Has it always been like this? Not always. Unfortunately, our history, like that of so many others, is full of periods of persecution. But we had finally moved beyond the Middle Ages and were living openly among the normies. We worked together, socialized together, and fell in love with each other. But in the 1920s and 30s, all that changed. Why? Horror movies took off. Rads were being cast to star in all kinds of films, like Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, 
And the ones who couldn't act... Uh... Like your Grandpa Vic. <laughs> yes, like dear old Victor Frankenstein. Uh, he had a problem memorizing his lines, and truth be told, he was quite stiff. <laughs> uh... So he was portrayed by a normie actor named Boris Karloff. Sounds fun. It was. Until the movies were released. Why? They portrayed us as horrifying, evil, blood-sucking enemies of the people. Normie children screamed in terror when they saw us. Their parents stopped inviting us into their homes. And no one would do business with us. We became outcasts overnight. Rads experienced violence and vandalism. Our lives as we knew it was over. Didn't anyone fight back? We tried. Our protests were pointless. They turned into frenzied autograph sessions for fearless horror fans. And any action stronger than a protest would have made us look like the angry beasts the normies feared we were. So, what did everyone do? A secret alert was sent out to all the rads, urging them to leave their homes and businesses and meet up in Salem, where the witches lived. Uh, the hope was that the witches would identify with our struggles and take us in. Uh, together we could form a new community. Start fresh. But... Didn't the Salem Witch Trials get rid of all the witches in, like, 1692? And wasn't this in the 1930s? That's right! Too bad the brainless zombie who sent the alert wasn't as smart as you. <sighs> yeah. Not only were the witches long gone, but he got the wrong Salem. He was thinking Salem, Massachusetts. But he gave the coordinates for Salem, Oregon. All the rads realized his mistake, but there was no time to change course. They decided to just make the best of it. They pooled their money, disguised themselves as normies, built Radcliffe Way, and vowed to protect one another. The hope is that someday we'll be able to live openly again. But until that time comes, it's crucial that we blend in. Being discovered would force us into exile again. Our homes, careers, and lifestyles would be destroyed. That's why it's important to cover your skin and hide your bolts and seams. Where are yours? Voltage! I'm going to get breakfast started. The makeup comes with an instructional DVD. You should start practicing now. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of nervous. I hope I can make friends at this school. Remember, you want to have this down by the time school starts. Okay. I guess there isn't anything to be worried about after all. I can't wait to go to school. <laughs> <laughs>